It's beer o'clock on Real L Craft Beer and I want to start this beer review off by saying a massive thank you to Ben in Ireland. Uh, ben contacted me last week and said, do you want to try some Irish beer? And of course, who doesn't want to try some Irish beer? So I unpacked the box yesterday. Um, I was in a bit, bit of a rush, so I didn't do an unboxing. Uh, but we're going to start off with Heaney Irish Blonde. This is a, a farmhouse beer brewed in Ireland. And they are from, let's have a look, of course, Ireland. Uh, Northern Ireland, Derry in Northern Ireland. 500 milliliter bottle, 4.3% ABV. <clears throat> and serve at six degrees. So my fridge is set at four degrees. I've added out the fridge about 15 minutes. So I reckon that's just about perfect. Uh, black bottle cap on this one, brown bottle. Without further ado, let's get this beer out into a glass and see what we get. Little bit of smoke on the bottle opening, uh, beer in the glass. Here we go. So we had a one very, very small uh, one finger white head that has dissipated rather quickly. And you can see that carbonation rolling up the side of the glass. Nice bit of haze on this one. So when they talk about farmhouse beer, are we talking about that it's brewed on a farm or are we talking about like when you think of like Belgian Saisons and you know, those funky farmhouse style beers. Are we talking that? There's only one way to find out. Looking at it, looking at it, it definitely got that kind of... It definitely looks like a slightly kind of belgian -y beer, doesn't it? The, the haze on it. Let's get the aroma. Oh, it's got that lovely blonde. Combination of the hops and that lovely sweet malt. Oh yeah, yeah, really good, really good. It's got a sort of, kind of like a tutti fruity, but then tutti fruity and then a little bit of dryness on the back end. A little bit of dryness in, in, the, in the aroma. Smells really good. Shall we dive in? Cheers, everybody. Oh. Oh. That is really good, a really good beer. First thing you get is when you hold the beer in your mouth is that <clears throat> little bit of a hiss and a fizz of the carbonation. Nicely carbonated. It, it's not holding a head. The bit, I mean, we'll, have, we'll put, put the rest of the bottle in in a moment just to see if it recreates a head. Perhaps it's a bottle conditioned beer, but you get that carbonation, that little hiss and fizz of carbonation that pushes the beer around the inside of the mouth, releases more of that flavor. Then you hit, you really are hit with this big, smashing, biscuity breadiness that comes through. It's really quite nice, actually. Really kind of lovely, like a wheaty, biscuity wafer that's what i'm looking for like a, a lovely kind of wafer like flavor coming through and that runs through from the start of the flavor all of the all the way to the back end where you're then greeted with a little bit of bitterness from the hops it 
It's really good beer. Shall we see if it's bottle conditioned? Let's give this a good whirl round in the bottle. Get it in. There you go. We've been able to develop a head now on the beer. That looks more like it, doesn't it? That looks way more like it. But I would say, I would say it's not a bottle conditioned beer, unless it's, unless where they're filling, they're filling the bottles. This might be at the start of the run. If this is at the start of the run, then you'll probably get next to no sediment. But if you get to the end of the run, where they're squeezing that last drop of beer out of the fermenters into the bottles, then you might see a lot more um, sediment. It depends. It depends on the run, the run of the, where they're bottling it. It looks great now, doesn't it? Look at that. Lovely head, good carbonation. You can see as you rock the beer back and forth, you can see that carbonation chasing the head of the glass. It looks really, really tidy. And somehow by giving it a whirl, getting that bottom of the bottle into the glass, it's made it slightly, it's got a little bit more of a slightly creamier mouthfeel, more of a, like a little bit of a richness to it. You can see that lacing as I'm drinking, you can see that lacing down around us. What a, what a beautiful glass of beer now. Really good. So um, I've not been, I went to Northern Ireland oh, about six years ago now. I went to brew a beer with Beer Hut Brewing Company. Um, Simcoe Simon is just above my head actually. Uh, Double Dry Hop New England IPA. Got a bottle of it up there. Whenever I brew a collaboration beer, I always put, when they send me the beer, I always put one of my collaborations up on the, the shelf. Um, yeah, anyway, just looking at them then, daydreaming a little bit. Right, uh, tradition refreshed. For generations, our family farm has been a place of harvest and inspiration. Our beers are for after the graft. Oh, for after the graft. Uh, rural thirst quenches, brewed and bottled by Heaney Farmhouse Brewery at the Wood, Belagi, Co. Derry, Northern Ireland. Uh, the ingredients are water from Heaney spring water, barley, wheat, hops, and yeast. So they might have, um, they might be selling this in France because there's, um, there's French, there's a French language here as well. Um, awesome, awesome. Okay, I'm ready to rate this. Brown bottle, um, unfiltered, unpasteurized. There we are. Heaney Farmhouse Brewery. There we go. My first beer from them, and it's a really refreshing one. It's really good. It looks good. Great lacing. Great look to the beer. Lovely aroma. Fantastic taste. I really like that. Really drinkable. Really lovely. I reckon four bottles of that on a Sunday afternoon in the garden. Fantastic. Thanks for watching. Oh, rating. <laughs> um, I like it enough to give it. I reckon an 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.